tell me what it's like, you know, you've finished school now, mm -hmm. preparing for your next step, which hopefully is the NFL. What's this process look like for you, and how's it gone so far? Well, that's a fun process, uh, dealing with cho choosing an agent and dealing with where you're going to train. You have different locations to choose from. It's just everything you dreamed of as a kid, and, and now the process is finally here. It got here faster than you know I imagined, but now it's here. Who's helped you along the way now um, to get to this point? Mainly my big cousin, yeah. uh, Dominic Rogers Camardi for the Redskins right now. Uh, he's just he's always calling me, always on me. Like, he Yo. knows what he's doing, huh? Yeah, he does. <laughs> so he's in and out, just making sure I'm doing the best thing for me. Tell me a little bit about your time here at UMass. I mean, you've accomplished so much. Uh, the pick sixes, the pass deflections, the interceptions. What stands out in your mind as maybe a, a seminal moment for you here? Well, I just... I just always wanted to, you know, do my best, you know, and I'm always competing with my cousin, you know, we compare stats every week and when he's playing, I'm playing, we're like, I bet I do this, I bet I do this. And it's just like, it's just having fun, you know, just doing what you've been doing since four years old and just trying to do the best you can do for the team and the community, so. Are you a better, in your, in your mind, a better defensive back or a better punt returner? Mm. Slash kick returner. I have to say defensive back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think kick return is just, it just happens. You know, I just feel I'm an exciting player with the ball in my hand, but I'm more so like knocking the ball out of people's hands, and it's more fun doing that. You took a lot of hits this year. You know, you mm -hmm. kept coming back. I mean, was there ever a time where you just thought, hey, what am I doing? Why, why am I going to go back out there? I mean, you weathered quite a bit this year. Uh, not once. Yeah. You know, even when I was down, I think the last game, senior night, I got yeah. injured, went to the hospital. I even told the doctor, like, you think I'll make it back in time to finish the game? And she's like, nah. You know, I, I never really wanted to, you know, pull myself out. I always wanted to stay in and, and fight through it, so. Tell me about this coaching staff. Obviously, year one wasn't, in terms of wins and losses, what everyone was hoping for. But, you know, you stuck around here to mm -hmm. the players to play out your final season. What's it been like working with them? Uh, they're just a hardworking, like, whole crew. You know, everyone and the coaching staff knowing each other from different places and they just came together to just build something. And the future is bright, you know, that's the reason I came here with speaking with Bell the first day he got hired and just meeting Coach Pascal. They're like, they're all just bought in and every, everyone has the same goal. So you can really see that the progress is, is really here. What are you taking away from the University of Massachusetts with you in your next step of your journey? Um, you A degree mass one, right? Yep, degree in psychology. Okay. And, uh, UMass just taught me a lot, you know, just branching out to new people. Because when I first got here, I wasn't a big fan of meeting new people, not even football players. I wouldn't talk to anyone. Now I have friends that from different countries, and it's just branching out and just meeting different people is probably the best experience here. What's best case scenario for you? You plan out the next five years of your career. What's that look like? Mm, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be yeah. great. You know, I plan on, you know, definitely coming back and just making sure that UMass is getting, you know, the best out of me as they gave the best to me when I was here. So I see, I see a, a bright future. We're looking forward to it. Thank you. We've reached the end of the bubble. Mm -hmm. You've reached the end of your career here at UMass. Right. Isaiah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it.